Hey everybody, I kind of figured we would get more Halo Infinite Battle Royale leaks as time went on. And as we get closer to the Microsoft Games Conference, we've gotten another leak. Today's leak shows scripts that are in the actual game mode. I'll put it up on screen now so you guys can see and then I'll talk about it a little bit. So we have Shock Blossom, Hard Life Barrier, Vehicle Repair Kit, Grav Lift, Retro Reflective Dome, Spartan Launcher, Team Teleporter, Accelerator, Power Boost, Deployment Key, Deployment Key Chunk, Deployment Key Fragment, Ammo Pickup, Gear Cache, and Weapon Upgrade Trunk. Now with all the leaks we got from Jez Corden when he went on that podcast, and all the leaks we've gotten from the scripts, the game setting details, we can start to get a really good idea of what this game mode is going to be like. Now first and foremost, Vehicle Repair Kit. That means you can repair your vehicles. We know that there's going to be forward operating bases. So that gear cache and ammo pickup might be from the campaign where you activate the weapon pad and you get the weapon upgrade, which leads into the weapon upgrade trunk. You might be able to get the campaign versions of the standard weapons by visiting these forward operating bases and cashing in points that you earn from killing other players, killing PvE enemies, killing PvE bosses, and completing other objectives on the map. The accelerator and the power boost seem like Halo 4's or Halo 5 Warzone's speed boost and damage boost. The reflective dome may very well be the closing inner circle, and from speculation I've seen online, the deployment keys are like respawns. There's fragments and chunks, and completing other objectives on the map, killing players, defeating PvE bosses, any objective will help earn you fragments and chunks towards extra respawns. These will be vital in keeping yourself and your team alive heading into the late game. This is more or less to incentivize not camping in a corner and actually going out and completing objectives and engaging with other enemies. It's really great to see that Halo's Battle Royale isn't going to be like Apex or Call of Duty Warzone. It's going to be its own identity, its own take on a Battle Royale, a very Halo-fied Battle Royale. Combine all of this information with the game settings we got and we've basically worked out what the entire Battle Royale is going to be whenever it releases. I'm very excited to see the gameplay. We know it's going to be duos and trios. We don't know about solo player game modes yet because that might be last Spartan standing. Time will tell. So to summarize, this is exactly what I think the game mode is going to be. In drop pods, players are going to drop down onto a map. It'll be duos or trio. It could either be you could scavenge your own weapons or you get a set loadout like last Spartan standing. By getting kills and completing other objectives on the map, you can upgrade your weapons, your vehicle, and as the game goes on, more complex weapons like sniper rifles and heavier vehicles like tanks will come into play. There'll be opportunities to heal your vehicles and earn extra respawn deployment keys. And as time goes on, a final zone will come in, forcing the remaining teams to get closer and closer until one team is victorious. So guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. When do you think this is going to come out? Do you think end of the year or do you think even later? Apparently the development cycle has been almost two and a half years and that the COVID pandemic actually pushed back the release date. Are you excited for Halo Infinite's Battle Royale? I have a lot of hope in Max Hoberman, the CEO of Certain Affinity. His work on Halo 3 with all the social aspects, making the game more fun, gives me a lot of hope that this game mode is going to be awesome. So let me know what you think in the comments below guys. Curious to hear your thoughts and I'll see you guys later.